Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class C motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Got a very hard to find smaller model right here. This is the model uh, 2008 Four Wind Chateau Sport Model 25C. You know, any motorhome under 30 foot is rare uh, in the used market. And this was one of the best selling floor plans that, that Chateau had in 2008. It's a 25C and it Bumper to bumper, it's 27 feet long. Built on the optional workhorse chassis, the Chevrolet chassis. Got the Allison transmission, got the Vortex 6 liter V8 with 300 horsepower, which for this little motor home, more power than you'd ever need. It does have a slide, one slide out, 23,000 miles, which in itself is also unusual for a class for a smaller motor home because folks, people that drive smaller motor homes, they don't let them sit around. They're not like big motor homes where they just get used once or twice a year. People drive these for weekend trips, for day trips, etc. And this is only a few foot longer than one of these little class B vans. It's not, not a lot of difference lengthwise. But of course you got a whole lot more storage and living space inside than one of those little vans. Got the, what they call the mega storage, which is 70 cubic foot of outside storage. Uh, walk on roof, got the rear camera, I mean the rear um, ladder, 5,000 pound hitch for your runabout. Over here you've got one slide with a awning topper, 4KW on and generator running right now, powering everything inside. And you can see to be a 2008 model, it's in phenomenal condition. This was uh, one that we purchased from a new dealer. Uh, this is a trade-in on a new uh, on one of the from one of the dealers that we buy their used inventory from. Uh, a lot of we've got several new RV dealers, a couple of them especially that we appraised their trade-ins for them because they do not sell used RVs; they only sell new. And this came from one of those dealers. Um, you know, of course, in return for appraising their trade-ins, we get first shot at buying all their trade-ins for what we said it's worth. And this was one that we went down, looked at, we liked it, it met our criteria for condition, and we bought it. 25C. Now, most people are going to advertise this at 25 foot, but it is 27.4 feet at its longest point just for FYI. Cab over looks great. It's a great couples model, great family, small family model. Easy size to drive and park, folks. I mean, tires look great. We just drove it 500 plus miles up here. Did great. Let's look inside this little 25C. As we step inside, folks, there's no odors in here, no smoke odors. No pet odors. Look at this open floor plan for a small class C. Got your bed in the back. That's actually a queen bed. Uh, you've got your corner bath. You've got your large table booth, which I really like. Leather cushions. Leather chairs in the front. Queen bed in the cab over. Extra chair right here. 23,000 miles. Power windows, power locks, tilt, cruise, stereo, dash air will run you out of here. It's ice cold. Seats look like 23,000 mile seats should look like, which are pretty much like new. Got a swivel chair right here. Now, folks, for some reason, when the people traded this in, I don't know why they do this. They kept the TV, but I'm going to put one in it at this price, and you can see it's got a, a little power... Uh, thing so you can bring it up here to the watching position and when you're done watching TV it folds back to the storage position so you can use your cab over bed open this up books and manuals are in here your, your changeover box your digital converter generator running right now if you can't hear it you can see the light 208 hours which is you know, folks, uh, one thing I've noticed about RVs is for every 10,000 miles that's on an RV, there's about 100 hours on the generator as a rule of thumb. And um, 
Of course, I know sometimes it's not the case, but more times than not, you roughly average about 100 hours for every 10,000 miles on the coach. So you got 23,000 miles on the RV, you got 208 hours on the generator. Just a prime example of that. Uh, very nice leather seating. This makes a bed that two adults can sleep on. So for a small RV, you can still sleep six. Air conditioners, ice cold, ceiling panels look great, no smoke, no pet odors, no water odors. And what I mean by that is, you know, you get in one that's had leaks or stuff like that, you, you smell a little mold and mildew odors. You don't have any of that in here. In fact, this is already starting to get cold. And it's only been on maybe 30, 45 minutes. Big closet right here. This is actually a fairly good size slide out for this size RV because you got your table booth, your fridge, and your closet in it. You got your queen bed back here. And then you walk back here and you've got a corner bathroom with a stand up and I'll cut the light on in here too while I'm at it. Shower and tub looks good. Uh, you can see the stickers are still there. Look up top, your skylight looks great. No signs of leaks or sags or wrinkled ceiling panels or anything like that. This unit does have the TPO roof system, so it's a very low maintenance roof system. Uh, you know, the only thing you'll need to do is once a year go up there and do some caulking on it. And uh, that versus it's a whole lot better than a rubber roof too. In fact, it's a, the TPO roof is the exact same roofing system they put on Walmart Supercenters that's on this motorhome. So you'll like that Chevrolet chassis and that Allison transmission. That 300 horse Vortec V8 is plenty of power, folks, for this small motorhome. Now, if this was a, a, a 35 or 36 foot Class A, it probably wouldn't be with multiple slide outs. But for a small Class C with a slide, this thing will run 75, 80 miles an hour or faster if you want to go that fast, even though I do not recommend taking any motor home that fast. But it's what I tell people. Motor homes are designed to get back in the right, kick back in the right lane, hit your cruise control, 65, 70, 75, depending on traffic, and relax. You know, part of owning a motor home is enjoying the trip getting there as well as your destination. And, uh, if you've got to run faster than that in an RV, best thing you can do is get you a Honda and, a, and stay in a hotel room. Uh, RVs, like I said, it's about the journey and the destination, enjoying both. Anyway, um, 23,000 miles, which is very rare to find a smaller motor home with low miles like this because they aren't driveway queens. People that own these RVs, they use them for events, they use them for weekend trips sporting events you know they don't let them sit around like the big a's do and um 39.9 i mean you this thing brand new back in 2008 prices which is more now but back then this unit was over 72 73 thousand dollars so for only 23 thousand miles you're saving almost half price and at 39.9 of course i'm going to put a tv in it a new led tv I'm also going to uh, have my RV techs do a major component checkout on this RV, make sure everything uh, on our inspection sheet works great, which I don't think is going to be an issue. I mean, we just drove it 500 miles up here, no, no problem, no check engine lights, none of that nonsense. Um, generator fires right up, air conditioner's cold, dash air's cold, refrigerator's getting cold, lights work. I mean, I can't see why you would... Uh, why there'd really be any major issues with this, but we haven't checked it out either. So after purchase at the 39.9 option A haggle-free price, we're gonna make sure everything on our list works like it's supposed to. And if you want a copy of all the systems that we inspect and repair if needed for the price you pay, contact your sales department. They'll be happy to get you a copy of that as well as tell you the current lead time for a class C checkout. We don't check them out till we sell them folks because We've tried it both ways, and logistics, of course, 140 RVs, pre-checking them um, before we put them out for sale, of course, would never work unless we hired a lot more shop help, which makes my overhead goes up, which, it, you know, more overhead means I have to mark our prices up higher. 
nobody wins when that happens plus it doesn't do any good folks we've tried checking these things out beforehand what happens is these RVs sit out here two or three weeks we have a couple hundred sets of customers a week walk through these things trample through them you know we were real big about letting people look unescorted well the downside to that is people don't respect your property not everybody but a lot of people don't respect other people's property and um, what they'll do is you know they'll tear stuff up bend doors break cabinets break drawers have their kids come through here with food and drinks spill it everywhere and just walk off uh, one big problem we have is people get in here and they see the crank up uh, roof vents so they'll crank them up wondering what it does but then they'll just walk off and leave it and here comes a rainstorm and it pours rain inside the RVs. we've had a real big problem with that lately so what I'm getting at folks we've tried pre-checking these things and then after they sit out here for three or four weeks and everybody does that continuously we have to ch wind up checking them out again before we let the buyer take it anyway so we're doing double the work for the same profit so it just makes more sense to check them out after the sale and I'm sure if you're looking at it the way we do, you, you completely understand that. Uh, that's the way most dealers are now anyway that have the inventory that we have. But anyway, it'll be freshly checked out. It'll be cleaned up by my cleanup crew inside and out. And then it'll be locked up until you get here to pick it up and get your walkthrough demonstration. After purchase and after it's been through service and cleanup, my service manager, Gordy, he'll give you a call uh, right now. We're probably looking a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks, roughly, to get a Class C ready to go if you bought it today, and that changes daily. Uh, so you want to verify that with your salesperson, what the current lead time is on a Class C checkout before you decide if you want to buy it. And um, after purchase, after it's been through service and cleaned up and Gordy does his final walkthrough, make sure it's to his satisfaction, uh, he'll call you to set up an appointment to pick this motorhome up and to get your walkthrough demonstration and uh, he's the only one that can set appointments and your salesperson can't your finance manager can't I can't the owner can't it's only the service manager that can set up an appointment to pick your RV up or schedule delivery if we're going to deliver it to you but once you arrive here folks to pick up your RV the tech that checked it out is going to spend some time with you do a personal one-on-one -on -one walkthrough show you how to operate everything show you everything on our list works perfectly um, answer any questions you have show you any repairs that he had to make if any I don't think this is going to be a big issue to check out because I haven't found anything that doesn't work yet and uh, of course give you tips tricks and pointers if you're towing a vehicle back or runabout he'll help you hook that up as well um, and we have towed always for sale as well if you want a towed always there um, uh, I've got them available and they're brand new and I'll sell them for about what you're going to spend on a used one somewhere else or just a little bit more and that's included you got a 5,000 pound tow rating which is plenty big enough for a car or a little SUV something like that and a tow dolly this is a one ton Chevrolet chassis a 3500 and it's a workhorse so I mean it's heavy duty as they come as far as a 20 uh, 27 foot C class anyway uh, after you take possession of it, you get a 90-day nationwide limited warranty. So for those of you that are looking at my video that are buying that aren't local to us, which I know most of you aren't, um, if you, in the rare occasion that you will need a, to file a warranty claim and a warranty repair in the 90 days, you can certainly welcome to bring it back to us, but you don't have to. If there's a dealer that accepts the warranty that's more a convenient location to you, you can take it to them for warranty repairs. That's why we pay the warranty company for that instead of doing just a 90-day in-house warranty. So that it's more convenient for you, the buyer, and you know, and like I said, and we're always happy to take a warranty repair here as well. We're not we're not shrinking from our responsibility by no means, but if it's more convenient for you to take it to a, a closer dealer, you have that option. And uh, on top of that, we give you 21 nights of free camping, uh, up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide. Great, great place. Um, it's free. There's no extra fees for that. 
and at minimum that's a thousand dollars of free camping and it's a very easy thing to do I've stayed at them I mean they're great if you've got questions about that just contact my sales department but it's free it's a thousand dollars of free camping at the minimum so of course first thing you're going to want to do is is take this RV camping once you buy it and this size is easy to use folks my first motorhome was a class C this size and we loved it but of course we got a 38 foot class A now you know it's kind of funny how how you start out with one thinking that's the one you want well five years later you're in the exact opposite and that's what we did we thought we'd like a small one but we wind up getting a big one and and, and actually we're talking about going back down to a small one now that we have our daughter so um, and that may be what we eventually do I mean it's you know you never know you might see mine for sale one day on here um, just kind of partial to it so I've had it for a while but you know I like the smaller RVs because you know for state parks older campgrounds for weekend trips you know if you're going on a cross-country trip yeah a big one's great you got the room you got the storage capacity you got the bigger tanks and all that stuff but just for something to take to the lake for the weekend or, or take down to the beach for a few days or the mountains these little C classes are hard to beat because in this size especially you can get it in state parks and get a lot of enjoyment and that's what we mostly used my our first one for was just for state parks and older campgrounds till we graduated up to the big ones and we still use the big ones too you just have to do a little bit more planning ahead and finding parks that can accommodate a bigger RV and you know what I love about these too is you can use these for for every weekend events if you sporting events like your kids into softball drive this to the ball field because they usually have softball tournaments that last all day and it's 100 degrees outside park this thing at the end of the parking lot put your room out crank that generator get that air cranked up have you a nice place to go and relax when the, if it gets too hot for your kids to come and relax between games have have the ability to fix something good to eat to grill out to have a cold fridge to watch TV I mean have a bathroom fix you something to eat without being at the mercy of the concession stand you know tailgating events for football games these things are ideal put that awning out put your chairs out and have a ball I mean you know this size motorhome is such a versatile vehicle folks um, you can use it for anything Anyway, folks, uh, give us a call if you're interested. This unit's 39.9, option A. You get the checkout, the inspection, the walkthrough demonstration. You get the warranty. You get the free camping and more. You get the starter kit with all your camping essentials. You get a uh, instructional DVD. You get a, um, a drive-out tag and more. 39.9, out the door, no extra fees, plus applicable sales tax. And if you need to know how much your sales tax will be and when and where you have to pay it, uh, sales tax laws are complicated. They vary state to state. Sometimes they even vary on how you pay for it. They even vary if you have a trade-in or not. So uh, call our sales department, tell them where you live at, and they'll give you an idea what your sales tax will be so there's no surprises for anyone. And we sell to people all over the United States. So if, you're, if you live a long distance away from us, I can promise you folks in the past 50 years, chances are we've sold somebody in your local area an RV before. We've sold to all 50 states. We've sold RVs to customers from Alaska, more than one customer from Alaska, and even one to Hawaii, Canada, New Eng um, uh, England, Australia, the Netherlands. I can assure you folks, we can we with our pricing and how clean our RVs are, it's worth traveling here to buy your next one. And I don't have to remind you that there is a huge shortage on used motorhomes. And to find one like this for this price, which is way under book if you want to look up NADA, even though I don't go by that, it's hard to find these with low miles like this in this size, period. In fact, uh, one of the hardest and rarest types of RVs are 30 foot and under. And, you know, there's plenty of them 30 foot and over. But 30 foot and under, no. And we sell about every one of these that we find 
as soon as we post them online. So, 25C Four Wind Chateau, 23,000 miles, optional Chevrolet workhorse chassis, six liter Vortec V8, 4KW Onan generator, 208 hours, or probably 209 now. Full kitchen, stove top, oven, microwave, double basin sink. Got a lot of food prep here. You know, most Class C's don't have this big a kitchen. Decent bathroom, queen bed in the back, queen bed in the cab over, and a full bed that your table booth makes. Big closet, cold air. It's got the 80 inch tall roof, so you're not going to be claustrophobic in it. I mean, I'm six foot four. I can walk from one side to the other without even stooping down or hitting my head on anything. Thank you for watching. Uh, we do offer an option B. And option B is for those of you, no matter how low the price is, how nice this RV is, you still want some kind of discount. Hey, no problem. I know that's the old way of doing things. And hey, I understand it. We try to accommodate everybody. Um, option B is the only way we discount our haggle-free prices. And option B is you buy the motorhome just like you see it, just like you see it in the video. As is, where is, no inspection, no warranty, no free camping, no walkthrough demonstration. Basically, you jump in it and drive it off price only. And to clarify, folks, as is has no exclusions. As is, doesn't matter if it's a chassis problem, doesn't matter if it's a motorhome or RV component problem. As is means you, the buyer, are 100% responsible for any repairs this unit may need now and in the future. In other words, folks, if you take it, and I'm just using this for example, but you take it and drive it a mile up the road, and the slide out falls out. Well, guess what, folks? You bought it. It's yours. I can't fix it. Don't call us. And I, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm trying to be realistic. Uh, I've had some issues lately. People don't understand that option B means as is. And uh, and it's not our choice, but the actual, there is a implied warranty law that says once that federal as is, no warranty uh, form is signed, that's a federal form, then if I fix anything on that RV, that's called an implied warranty. It voids that federal buyer's guide and entitles, and you can take me to court, and I'm basically putting a lifetime warranty on the repairs. And we had that happen to us a few years ago, so we strictly go by all laws when it comes to buying and selling a used vehicle. Um, it protects us and it protects you. And we keep things simple, stress-free, and easy. Um, so what I recommend doing, and this is my personal recommendation, you know, you're looking at a used RV. This is a nice low mileage motor home. It is a 2008 model. You know, 19s are out. This is an 11 year old RV. All right, as with any 11 year old vehicle or 10 year old vehicle, even a five year old vehicle, don't, I do not recommend buying sight unseen over the internet. If that's the way you want to do business, if you want to buy sight unseen, you know, we'll do our best to accommodate you. But I do not personally recommend buying any used vehicle without looking at it in person first. Uh, what I highly recommend doing, this is my personal recommendation from somebody who's been in this industry for 22 years and has bought and sold countless used vehicles myself for my own personal use, is folks, you need to come out look at this RV. I know it may be inconvenient. You know, we have customers that fly, you know, you can fly to Chattanooga, Tennessee, uh, fairly reasonable. And we'll pick you up for free at the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport during business hours. Come look at this motor home before you decide if you want to buy it. Come look at it, come meet us, meet who you're doing business with. That's the way we prefer it too. We like to shake hands with all of our customers, show you around, let you meet our employees, tour our facility and look at our inventory. That's the way buying and selling should be. I know it's old fashioned, but that's the way it should be. So I recommend you come out here, meet us, come out, spend some time in this motorhome. Get to know it a little bit. Uh, let us know you're coming. And of course we'll crank the generator, plug it into power, have it cooled off, have the fridge on for you. Do your own inspection on it. Test drive it. When you get done with all of that, 
then decide if you want to buy it, first of all, and second of all, decide if you want to do option A or B after you've already inspected it and spent some time with it and got to know it a little bit. You know, most of you are going to take the option A. Some of you may take the option B, and I'm not recommending one over the other. I want you to make that decision because everybody here is an adult. There's no such thing as buyer's remorse if you do everything that I just said. Um, we want you to make sure this is a one for you um, before you decide if you want to buy it. We don't want anybody to have any regrets. We've been here for 50 years, folks, and I've been in this industry personally for 22-plus years. And one thing that I've learned and Parkway RV Center has learned is everybody has a different opinion about everything, including what condition a 11-year-old motorhome should be in before it's nice enough for said person to consider buying it. So, you know, I think this thing's a 9 out of 10. Now, the next person that looks at it may think it's a 5 out of 10, and the person after that may think it's absolutely the newest used RV they've ever seen. Everybody's got different opinions based on their experience and their personal preferences. Nothing wrong with that. That's what makes us human, folks. But in order to guard everybody, to make everybody happy, please come out and look at it first and then form your own opinion about the condition of it. Um, so come out, look at it, spend some time in it, get to know it, test drive it before you decide if you want to buy it. And if you, if you buy all your used vehicles like that, nobody will ever have any reason to, to have buyer's remorse or regrets or anything like that. Um, and I assure you folks, if you come out here and look, I've got 140 used RVs. If for some reason this one doesn't strike you fancy, I, I probably have something else that will. And I've got a lot of stuff not posted online. Give us a call, folks, 706-965-7929. That number is answered 24-7. You can email us, sales at parkwayrbcenter.com. Nationwide delivery is available. And Sorry about that, folks. I had to do a battery swap. Uh, nationwide delivery is available, and so is financing with approved credit. Minimum 10% down payment is mandatory, and that's not our rules, that's the bank. That down payment can be cash or trade equity, and yes, we do take trades. We take anything of value that we can legally sell as a trade-in. It, it can be another RV, a camper, fifth wheel. It can be a boat. It can be a car, classic car. I just took a really sharp 46 Chevrolet truck in on trade the other day. I'll be posting online soon. Um, I also have, uh, also take Boats, motorcycles, uh, some motorcycles, you know, right now cruisers are a dime a dozen. I can't take them on, but if you've got like a dual sport bike or a dirt bike, something like that, I can definitely trade for that. I'll trade for lawn equipment. I've traded for uh, utility trailers, a little bit of everything. If you've got something that nobody else wants to, wants to trade for, give us a call or shoot us an email. You might be surprised. If I can find a value for it, I'm not scared to put a trade figure on it. Um, we'll trade for local property, too. Now, I can't trade for out-of-town property, folks. It's just uh, uh, they're too hard to sell because we have to list it with a realtor and, and go through all that and then go to closings and all that stuff. And it's just a, when they're out of town, to us, it makes a lot more sense just to uh, let the person wanting to trade it in sell it themselves and then buy something. Anyway. Uh, but local property that we can sell ourselves, we will trade for. So if it's within, you know, 25, 30 miles of us, we'll definitely uh, trade for it. Anyway, folks, we've traded for guns, jewelry, coin collections, gold, silver, and more. So if you've got something unusual, we'll do our best to trade for it. If we can sell it quickly and make a little extra for our efforts, and we'll be happy to trade for it. Thank you for watching, folks. This is a nice little motor home. Um, in closing, all I can say is come look at it. You know, these little ones like this are hard to find. And I really think whoever looks at this thing, getting a nice little motor home, whoever buys it. 706-965-7929. Um, sales at parkwayrbcenter.com. Check this unit out for those of you who are on YouTube. Go to my website, folks. Check it out. We spent a lot of time and money uh, building it. It's parkwayrvcenter.com. Very interactive. I've got pictures, the video, of course, of everything I've got listed on YouTube. 
I'll have a factory brochure, same thing I've got right here, but in a PDF form that you can download or print out with all the particulars about it. I'll have specs on there. I'll have a trade-in appraisal form that you can fill out to get your trade-in appraised. Heck, folks, I've even got financing available um, with a credit app on my website. So you can get, try to get you approved for financing if you, if you want to fill it out. So very, very interactive. I have a factory floor plan and more. Give us a call, 706-965-7929, um, or sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Also, from my website, I've got a 24-7 uh, operator answer chat and text feature that you can click on to 24-7, and, you know, they'll give you all the information that they have. If they can't help you, they'll forward your contact info to our sales department that will call you back the next business day and answer your questions and do their best to help you out. Folks, we did away in 50 years, we've done away with haggling. We've done away with commission salespeople. We've done away with sales fees. You know, you go to these other dealers, they want to charge you thousands of dollars in dock fees and prep fees and setup fees, freight fees and uh, corporate fees, franchise fees and much more. Folks, the only thing you pay here is a sales price and the applicable sales tax. That's it. We have 0% dealer interest rate markup. These other dealers that have a finance department, folks, they make a killing off people by marking up the interest rate over what the bank approved you for, costing you thousands of dollars in higher RV payments over the life of the RV loan. That's why so many people, folks, and uh, I'm sure you're familiar with especially one particular dealer, you go in, buy a $50,000 RV, you finance it, you call, your, you call that finance bank or the company a week later and you owe sixty grand on it. It's ridiculous, folks, but they do it every day. Folks, we offer financing as a courtesy to our customers, not as a way to make money. Uh, whatever the bank approves you for, that's what you pay interest-wise. If you've got your own bank or credit union lined up to finance it, we're just as happy to work through them as you as we are through one of our lenders because we're not making money on financing folks we make our money on the profit on the RV that's it um, if you in fact I'm gonna give you a little tidbit if you currently own an RV and you've got it financed and there's a payoff on it and you went through the dealers finance department here's what I want you to do and you can and you can see exactly what I'm talking about get your current payoff how much your rate is and get on Google and search RV financing. Look at the banks that do long-term financing on RVs that will go directly through the, through the bank. Don't go to a brokerage and don't go through a dealer because the, the RV finance brokers do the same thing the dealers do. They mark the rate up to make extra money. Contact those lenders. Get their current rate sheet. And you're going to be shocked that you're paying 2%, 2.5% higher interest rate than what you could get it done for in your own. And trust me, you'll thank me. Refinance your RV, drop your interest rate, drop your payment, and pay it off quicker. And also check into shortening your loan a little bit too, folks, because you'd be surprised how much money you'll save going five, six, seven years less on terms and how little it raises your payment because when you go over... 10 years, you know, your payment's going to drop very little, but, you're, but the amount you're going to pay back skyrockets in interest. So uh, keep that in mind as well. If you got any questions, folks, call us, email us, par uh, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Check out our website. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got almost 12,000 subscribers. That way you'll get notifications when I post a video if you choose to do so. And I post videos just about every day. Um, you never know what I'm going to do from one day to the next. Maybe a motor home, a travel trailer, a toy hauler, a fifth wheel, class A, B, C. I mean, we sell almost 600 used units a year, so we, these things move in and out of here very rapidly. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.